Hello everybody. It's been a little while since I have done a video like this, an update on my health, uh, but I feel it is probably time. I still get quite a lot of messages asking about my health. It's what brought a lot of you to the channel in the first place, and it still brings new viewers to the channel uh, to this day. So I think I owe it to you guys to let you know what's been happening, because as you probably guessed from the title of this video, uh, there has been yeah a few things going on with regards to my health um, but first of all let me just do a very quick recap as to what I've shared previously with regards to my health on this channel so in early 2021 I was diagnosed with neuroendocrine cancer I had a primary tumor of the small intestines that had spread to nearby lymph nodes and then into my liver so I had a number of tumors in my liver and I was suffering with carcinoid syndrome so lots of flushing and just generally feeling under the weather I was started on lanreotide injections, which is a four weekly medication that is to stop the growth of the tumours and the spread any further um, of the cancer. And then in April 2021, I had a small bowel resection to remove that primary tumour along with removal of nearby lymph nodes. And then in August 2021, so a few months later, I had a liver resection. So I had over 70% of my liver removed so that was a big operation. Uh, took a lot out of me, but got through it okay. I think it was like nine or 10 hour operation, which is still quite a surreal experience thinking back to that. Um, but yeah, and then at the end of 2021, I received news that my latest scan showed no evidence of disease. So there was no visible tumors um, from that scan. So that was great news. So I was kept on the lamaritide injections after discussions with my doctor. And for slightly, slightly frustratingly, there is no clear path as to what to do after you get a no evidence of disease following removal of neuroendocrine tumors in terms of the relationship with, with lamaritide, whether to carry on with it for a certain period of time um, or to come off it straight away. But we agreed to stay on it for a year. So I was on lamaritide until November of the following year, 2022. I think it was November. Uh, about maybe October, November. So that was actually a little bit over a year. Yeah, 2022 went back to work. You know, it came with its challenges still. Recovering from such a big operation um, was difficult. You know, I've had digestive issues that I've talked about on the channel, um, but I was building strength and it was just slower than I'd, I'd hoped it would be, I suppose. So that's the recap complete. So let me fill you in with the new information that's been going on. So I had a scan in the middle of 2022, which came back no evidence, no evidence of disease again, which is great. And then at the end of 2022, I had another scan, so just a, you know, kind of a routine scan. And I got those results at the beginning of 2023 to learn that I wish, or there was some abnormalities showing on that scan in the area of my liver again. So the left side of my liver. Now, the abnormalities were so small that they couldn't actually tell what it was. Um, they played it down a lot, which was, you know, it's what doctors have to do, really. They don't want you getting anxious about something before it's 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 um, proven. But in my mind, I kind of knew <laughs> uh, that the likelihood is that that was going to be tumour. Um, you know, there was talk that maybe it could be some sort of scar tissue. It could just be um, an error with the scan. So... Anyway, they wanted to leave it a little, they wanted to leave it a month or two just to see if anything changed. And then they sent me back for another scan. And that scan came back again, a little bit clearer this time, I think. Um, but again, the abnormalities were, bit, uh, were, were obvious. Or had the, that area that was affected hadn't grown from that, that first ab ab uh, scan showing an abnormality, but it was a bit clearer that it was actually too... Uh, potential masses um, and then you know <laughs> then I was even more convinced but they weren't sure whether again it was whether it was cancer or not so I was sent for more scans um, again it I think I got scanned a couple of months later so we're probably getting close to June now uh, might be wrong about these dates uh, but it's roughly around, around these these times uh, June I was sent for another MRI scan on my liver and I also went for a Dotatate 68 scan which is another diagnostic scan for neuroendocrine cancer basically it lights up cancerous or neuroendocrine cancerous cells and that one came back positive for neuroendocrine cancer cells so those abnormalities were uh, diagnosed as small tumors effectively 
and that scan well, that MRI came back as re reporting them to be one four millimeter tumor and one three millimeter tumor. So very small, well, probably about that big. <laughs> um, so yeah, very small, which was good. And importantly, they hadn't really shown any sign of obvious growth from that fir very first scan showing that abnormality. So whatever it was, was growing incredibly slowly or wasn't even growing at all at this point, which is good. And the other positive is it's in that left side, or I see this positive anyway, but it's in that left side of my liver, which is an old bit of liver. So I've got, obviously, I had my right side of my liver removed, which I had like over 70% removed. So it's this other, what, 20, something it's like 27% that was left. That is where those two new tumors are. So I say they're new tumors. I wouldn't mind betting that they were there just in very small, they were very, very small and probably weren't visible. So, I, um, yeah, I take that as a positive that they're not, they've not popped up in the new bit of liver. So around July time was when the team, the multidisciplinary team met about me again uh, to discuss whether surgery would be the right route for me to go. And what it was decided was that I should go back on the lamreotide and then they would review me again in three months time. So, so basically I started back on lamreotide towards the end of July, or beginning of August time. And that hasn't been a very nice experience going back on that. My body had been used to coming off it. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a shock to the system again. Um, but fortunately, I've had my third. So the first two of those I had, again, four weekly cycles. So uh, the first two of those I had, they wiped me out for a good week, probably both of those. And then I had my third one of those a few days ago. And actually, I've felt pretty good since then. So fingers crossed my body is kind of adjusted to being back on that. And uh, yeah, so basically I've had another scan since then as well. <laughs> it's a lot of scans. Um, I had another scan and again, the report has come back. So the report this time came back as two tumors less than five millimeters with the description of, of this scan. Um, so again, it's been kind of deemed that they've not grown anymore, which is, which is great. Um, but where has it kind of left me? I've got these two tumors. I'm back on the lamreotide. What is the long-term plan? And that's kind of what's being sort of figured out now, really, I think. So they're meeting again as a multidisciplinary team to discuss whether now surgery would be a good idea again. So yeah, we'll see. I think it's gonna take a while to play out this whole situation. Um, the good news is I feel pretty good, you know, other than you know, when I'm having these injections and the sort of side effects that I've been having, uh, I've got no, I've got no real uh, symptoms of having these tumors, you know, I'm not flushing um, or anything like that, which is good. Um, so physically, I'm not bad, you know, I'm, I'm able to exercise, I'm able to go to work, although frustratingly, getting back on these injections has, you know, meant I've had to take a few days off work. And that's, that is, and that is annoying. Um, but mentally, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a pretty good place. Obviously, when it first came about that this there was an abnormality on my scan, I was just really frustrated. Um, you just want to get on with your life, really, when you're going through something like this and you feel like you've gone through quite a bit. You want to just get on with it. Um, but then when this happens again, you're kind of thrown back into this world of scans and blood tests and medications and stuff like that. But, you know, it could be a lot worse, um, you know, I've got Jenny here, we talk openly about it. We're, we're pretty strong individuals when it comes to that. And you do just kind of, you do kind of get used to it. It becomes your, your normal again. Um, it just takes that bit of time adjusting to your, your new situation. But yeah, that's kind of the news. So I'm sorry I haven't shared it sooner with you guys, but yeah, that's, I mean, you probably gathered there was a little bit of confusion early on as to, you know, whether this was anything or not. Um, but now the picture is pretty clear of what it is, um, although not really, we don't have a really clear picture as to what that is going to mean going forward. But what it's going to mean for me is I'm going to just continue making the videos I want to make. I will obviously update you guys if anything um, big is, gonna, is happening with my health. So if I am getting sent for a, an operation, for example, I will let you know. But otherwise, I'm just going to get on with making the videos I want to make. And one of the reasons I was a little bit hesitant to sharing this information with you was because I still get people messaging me to this day who are, you know, pretty early on in their diagnosis of this 
cancer or any sort of cancer really um, who are going through treatment or operations and they say that my story has been sort of inspiring and it's kind of giving them hope to get through what they're going through um, and the fact that mine has sort of come come back although again I think it's probably always been there makes me worry that those people are going to lose a little bit of hope seeing that you know you can go through all of that and then just find yourself back um, in that whole treatment cycle again but I really want to just say that even though I still have, uh, even though I've got these tumours again or whatever, I am in a, such a better place than I was at the beginning of 2021, you know, and I would go through all that treatment again, even to just find that I had still got these, these tumours because yeah, you know, I'm so much better off than I was and I feel so much better than I did. And it's just, this is just part of it, I think. Um, it's frustrating. Uh, it's a bit like a part-time job at times. I always say, you know, going for scans, blood tests, going on medication, recovering from medication. It it does take a lot out of you, but um, there is also time for lots of other nice things in my life, and I'm very grateful for that. So anyway, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope I haven't babbled on too much, and what I've said, you've kind of been able to understand a bit. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate all your support. Take care, guys.